So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do some of the aspects of Canva that might be interesting to use in all of your designs. So if you've checked out the first video in this series, I walked you through how to create a pin, a, a Facebook post, a Twitter post, and also just the featured image for a blog post. So you'd have one blog post with the four different sized images all set up um, within about five minutes. So hopefully you've done that, but you might have seen some aspects in that video that you thought, well, you know, I've used one of the main templates like that are up here. I've used one of those and it's not quite giving me all of the options that I want, but I don't really know how to get those options. Now, for example, if you wanted to do a Facebook post, so we'll just click into the template. So you wanted to put something on your Facebook. Maybe you wanted to, maybe you've got a Facebook group and you want to drop one of those sort of um, reoccurring posts in there or you want to just promote something you're doing on your blog, you click into the Facebook post option. That's going to be resized, that's going to be sized appropriately for Facebook. So you've got all of these options down the side. So it really is, um, Canva is a brilliant way for people that aren't great at design to start designing brilliant things for their blog, or people that are, you know, that have a design eye to sort of shortcut some bits and then take these templates and make them even more fantastic by adding their own things to them. So for example, if I was, some of them you'll see as you hover over, some say free and some as you hover over have a pound sign. Now they're normally only a dollar or whatever for that template. Um, you can buy them, it's just added to your account when you sort of save the po save the image. I rarely do buy them to be honest, if ever, because I, if I like something that's paid for, I will just recreate it and that's where this comes in useful so for example you're scrolling down and um, that's a free one there's lots of free ones that are really good but if you find something that you think oh I just really love this or what whichever one it is you can recreate it and it might take you a couple more minutes or a few more minutes but it's definitely definitely something that you can do it just depends how much time you've got on your hands so it really depends what you're looking for as to the template that you would start with. So if I was promoting something maybe in a Facebook group, I already have templates for my Facebook groups, but you would, at a starting point, you would find something that's eye-catching. So let's just amend one that's easy to amend, and then we can show you potentially how to recreate one. So so let's find something that looks that I would probably pick for my Facebook group. So I kind of like that, but that's a pet. We will maybe use that for the recreation one. So some of them look obviously a little bit cookie cutter kind of style. You know, everyone would be using the same. So let's try and find something that looks like it would stand out a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go with this one. It's a nice clean design. There's not much to it, so it gives us the option to do a little bit more. So if you like that image, then that's fine. If you don't like that image, um, all you literally do is click on it. And then if this image works for you, then go for it. It's a lovely image and obviously you've got the rights to use it because it's in Canva. But if you don't, then you just make you just click the background, make sure you have these dots and then you just delete it. And then as you can see, all this is, is a frame that's the size for Facebook with some text on it, which you can so easily do yourself. Um, so say I want to um, put something in my group. So I could then drag on one of my background images onto that. Or I could say, well, that's not going to work because that just covers it up completely. So I could try another one. I could keep dragging them on. I could use, um, if it was something personal or whatever I could use one of these and think okay okay so something like that you know works better with the background um so say if I was saying you know this is how you share your story or anything to do with that it might work fine having an image of myself on it 
And if you wanted to do that, that's fine. I would then click on this text, make sure the text has the dots around it, go up to the color there, and I could say, okay, I'm gonna play with the text. Now, as I said in my first video, I have Canva for business. So as you can see, the brand colors pop in there. So it really makes it really easy for me to brand everything. But if you don't have that, you can put the hex codes in, you can just play around with the colors. You know, if you wanted to put a specific hex code, click the plus and then pop the hex code in down here, press return and it would automatically give you the colors. So you can do that, but it's just a bit more time consuming than being able to just, you know, press the button and the colors are all there. So I might think, okay, that's fine. Um, that obviously needs to change and I will just highlight it and then maybe I want to change it to that color okay how does that sound so obviously I would change this text to you know um, share your story or whatever um, bloggers or whatever it is that's obviously completely rubbish but you get the point um, I might think okay maybe that looks better on two lines and maybe that needs to be a bit bigger so this is in the same text box so you can see because it's got a little line there so I'd highlight it and then see what it looks like a bit bigger and I think okay well I need the bloggers to be bigger now so I'd highlight that go up here see what that looks like okay so okay we're getting there but it's a bit wonky it's a bit over this side so I would click my image and I try and drag it now see it's coming off the background so what I'd need to do in this case if I want my pitch to be over there I would need to resize this image so I would need to drag it up a little bit so I go gigantic but then keep it so I can move it around and move it back over here how far can I go before it runs out that right okay so that might be better and then maybe I'm gonna you can resize by dragging as well or put in the color the, the size options in there so maybe I want to see and then let go of it and if you get that cross you know that you are on a winner so maybe that looks good so I think that looks that's an eye-catching image so what else could I do with this image so that started with their free template and I've just moved it around obviously you have all of these options so you can just add the text like that you know type it in you can add one of these things that they've already given you which is you know just does all the work for you um, or you can add one of the like we did we started with the template these there's so many options when you scroll down that you know you can make your own logos you can you see how that dro automatically drop my brand color in there that's canva for business um sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it does um there's so many options if you scroll down you can add you know crazy banners and or you can think okay i want to actually brand it and i have my own branding stuff in my uploads which i have so these are mine these are for my blog so i might think okay i want my starburst in here I'm just going to, you know, drag it from my uploads or I'm going to upload it specifically. So you can just try it out. You can resize it. Um, you know, this probably isn't going to be appropriate, but I just want to show you. And these are all PNG files that are transparent background so that they're not going to cover up, um, you know, the image. If you want to get rid of anything, if you click it, and then as long as the black boxes come, the black dots come round, you can just press the delete button, it goes away. So what I would add to this probably is a logo. So I can scroll down and as you can see, I've got two in there. One hasn't got the transparent background. I can never remember which it is. As you can see, that has. I think it's, is that hasn't? That's got the black background. So that's going to go right as covering up the whole image. So you need it to have transparent background, which these do. And I think the white probably works best. This is why it's a good idea to get a proper designer to do it all, because they give you all of this nice file with all of these amazing options that, quite frankly, I wouldn't be able to do myself. So I might just put my little logo at the bottom. If it was going not in a group, I might put my URL in there. So 
again all I would do is click text and um, you know go up to the subtext thing type in my um, URL and that's obviously black so then I would just click it and then go up here to the color make it white so it stands out think oh I don't like that font um, go up here make sure it's got the dots around it change the font I've got as you can see because I've got Canva for business uploaded fonts are all here so I might think oh that, I love that font but it doesn't work for this so skinny jeans is a good font and I would take out that that's just because I had used a shortcut so I might think okay where does that work hmm, normally it would work there but maybe then I don't actually like that font there but maybe then what I need to do is move that a bit away from it just to give it a bit more space another thing you can do is just to click on the text box and you see up here it says spacing so you can if you click that you can change the letter spacing so you see you can think okay well maybe that's a bit you know tight so maybe that's better and then you can also change the line height so you can see how that makes it you know so in some cases you might want it you know spread out or whatever and this is a bit of a weird one because it's in the same box so um, obviously when it's moving these it's also moving that further away so if I thought okay well I kind of need that to be like that but then you know holy moly that's too far down if I can click in front of the B and see if I can move it up and I can't so what I would do is I would highlight this and I would delete it then I would move the text box if I could on its own see now I've lost my bloggers but I want them to be two separate things because they're not giving me the flexibility that I need as one entity so then I would just set up I just clicked on the add heading and I would put bloggers in there and then I would change the color of that to whatever it was it was that brand color wasn't it and change the font to whatever I thought I might like and then that would need to go bigger obviously if it depends on what font you're using to how big it would need to be and then this is free of that other one so I can then just put it where I want and if I want it to be up here or if I want it to be down here and then I wanted to angle it just click on it that little half wheel comes up I might think okay I want to angle it maybe that looks rubbish so I'm going to change it back but it gives you more options than it did when it was all together in one grid there's also you might think okay I want that's fine but this is not standing out so in some cases you might take the trans change the transparency and obviously that makes it look worse it looks better when it's darker but in some cases it doesn't it looks better you know the other way depending on what colors you're using so you can do that and change the transparency there it's going to change the transparency of whatever is clicked so as you can see I've selected the background another option would be to put a, a box wrap behind your text so in some cases it just doesn't stand out and you need to make it stand out so you do that really easily you can either select something like this which is obviously already built in um, or you can just put a box that you can change the um, opacity or opacity behind it so to do that I would just go to elements I would go to shapes I would click on um, this one and then you see it just puts me a big horrible square box but in my brand color so you've got to give it credit so I would say okay I'm going to drag it up I'm going to drag it in a bit I'm going to sort of overlay a little bit and obviously I can't see this at the moment I'm going to change it to um, white you don't have to but I'm going to see what it looks like and then I'm going to change go up here to the transparency bit and I'm going to make it transparent and as you can see it's starting to sort of come together but then what I'm going to do with it still selected is I'm going to send arrange and send it to the back I'm going to keep on clicking it until it goes away and then you can see okay I sent it a bit too much I sent it behind the picture which is not what you want to do um, okay now that looks a bit too um, not the right color so I would change that but as you can see there 
that makes the text stand out and um, you can just play with this uh, transparency to see what you can have it completely that that or you know completely 100% color or you can reduce it change it around so that's just another option that you know people use a lot especially in blogging to just mix up their images and to make them make sure that they really really stand out another thing you could do is use this idea behind a logo so I have on one of my um, templates um, my logo up here and it's a black logo um, and it doesn't really stand out on all of the even that there doesn't really stand out so what I would do is I would think okay what what might I like and I think I used that so I used that image and I reduced it I changed the color and I made it transparent quite transparent and then I just put it behind my image which was black so maybe I can find the black one to show you exactly what I did um, there we go so this is what it's like on so you can't really see it doesn't really stand out but for the image that I was using it's kind of important to have it um, at the top looking like a tab so you can see just by putting that behind it it's a little bit different you know it's a little bit more interesting than just a, um, a box you can just play around with it until you make sure you're clicking on the right thing obviously that's not if it, if you ever can't find it just make one of them smaller and then you'll be able to drag it out so you might want a little bit of space at the side and then you make that back to being the size it was and then think okay I like that or maybe I want to just see what the transparency looks like you could have it solid and that's just another way of using and maybe a different shape and then just playing with the transparency so that's how I would quickly <laughs> amend one that they have started with so amend one of the templates a little bit and obviously you can do much more and we'll go into how to create other things in future videos but for now I hope that's helped <laughs>